Now children will move to exercise 48 which is on the page number 95 of your textbook. And as you know what is cube? Cube means taking the product of a number. How many times you have to multiply the same number thrice? When we say cube means three times the same number. We have seen in the example that two cube means two into two into two. And that will give me eight. So eight is the cube of two. And how to write you know very well. Two raised to three. And two is the base of that sum and number and 3 is the index or power of that number. So whatever is whenever the power is 3 or index is 3 that is known as cube. We read as 2 cube, 5 cube, 6 cube like that. Now let's see the first question of this exercise. Write the cubes of the natural number from 1 to 10. So it's very easy. We have to just find the cube of the natural number starting from 1. Let us do and see. The first one, 1. When I say cube, what we have to do? We have to write the index 3. Just now I explained you. So now we will be starting with the exercise. And the first sum is, we have to write the cube of natural number from 1 to 10. First, 1 natural number. That is 1 cube I will write. Why? Because I have to find the cube at right. And for that, I will write 1 as a base and 3 as an index. So, whenever index of power is 3, that is known as cube. Now, this cube means what? 1 into 1 into 1. So, what's the product of this? 1 into 1 gives 1. Again into 1, it will give 1. So, cube of 1 is what? Cube of 1 is 1 itself. So, this is the answer. So, cube of 1 is 1. Now, the next natural number is 2. So, to find the cube, you have to write 2 cube. And that is 2 into 2 into 2. Now, you have to find the product. So, 2 into 2 gives me 4. 4 into 2 gives me 8. So, now what is the cube of 2? That is 8. So, cube of 2 is 8. Next natural number is 3. So to find the cube, I have to put the power 3. And that means, what does it mean? That you have to multiply 3 how many times? 3 times. Why? Because it is cube given. That is 3. Now, what is the next? Next step to write the answer, I have to find the product of this. So 3 into 3 gives me 9. 9 into 3 gives me 27. So, what is 27? 27 is cube of 3. The next natural number is now 4. And what is the question? We have to find the cube of 4. So, that is the reason I have written 3 over here. Now, the next step, we have to find the product. Why 4? Because to find a cube, same number is multiplied thrice. Because the power is 3 and that is known as Q. So, I will be writing the product of this. 4 into 4, you know, 16. Now, 16 into 4, if you know very well, I think you people know all this natural number from 1 to 5 easily, you can tell. Still, if you are confused, you can do working and find the product of it. Now, 4, 6 are 24. 4 will come here, 2 will carry forward. 4 ones are 4 plus 2, 6. So now what will be the answer? The cube of 4 is 64. So you will write 64 over here. The next number is 5. And here as the question asks, we have to find cube of 5. So I will write power as 3. Then the next step, as you know, we have to multiply it. What? 5, 3 times. Again the same thing. I will multiply first this 2, 5. You know that is square. And square of 5 is 25. But here we have to find cube. So once again this 25 into 5. Again you can do working so that you will not make mistake in your answer. 
So 5 into 5, 25. 2 carry, 5 fives, 5 twos are 10, 10 plus 2, 12. So cube of 5 is 125. So this is your answer. Now we have solved the first 5 natural number. 1 cube, you have to write 1 raised to 3, then find the product. So 1 cube is 1. 2 cube, again 2 base, 3 power or index, then find the product. 3 times you have to multiply 2, that is 8. So 2 cube, the answer is 8. Again 3 cube, same thing, you have to write the power 3, multiply 3, 3 times and find the product, that is 27. So cube of 3 is 27. Cube of 4 is 64. Cube of 5 is 125. Let's solve the next remaining 5. So now the 6th natural number. Here again the same thing. You have to write the power 3 and then multiply 6 into 6 into 6. Here again find the product. 6 into 6 36. Then 36. Do the working. 36 into 6. So 6 into 6, 36, 3 carry. Now 6 threes are how much? 18. 18 plus 3, 19, 20, 21. So the answer will be 216. What is that? That is a cube of 6. That means when we multiply 6 three times, the product is 216 and that is the cube of 6. The next natural number is 7. To find the cube, I will write raised to 3. Then you have to multiply 7 into 7 into 7. Find the product 7 into 7. That is a square. You know 49. Now 49 into 7. Why? Because it is cube. So here again I will Write 49 in the working column and then multiply. 7 into 3, 63, 6 carry. 7 into 4, you know how much? 28. 28 plus 6, that will give 34. So the cube of 7, that is when we multiply 3 times, the product, product is 343. And this is the cube of 7. Next, 8 cube, that is 8 raised to 3. Here again you will multiply 8 into 8 into 8. When we multiply twice, that is a square. So square we know very well. 8 into 8, that is 64. Now to find the cube, again I will multiply that 64 with the 8. And we will go to the working column and see. 8 fours of 32, 3 carry. 8 six of 48, 48 plus 6, 49, 50, 51. So the answer is 512. So the cube of 8 is 512. Right? Next is 9 cube. That is we have to multiply time 3 times as it is raised to 3 and raised to 3 we read as Q. So 9 into 9 you know 81, again 81 into 9. So you can do directly also 9 ones are 9, right? 9 eights are how much? 72. So I can write here 72. The answer is what? 729. What it is? It is cube of 9. Now we will go to the last, the natural number which they have asked. That is the 10th one. So 10 cube, 10 raised to 3 you will write first. Then the second step is 10 into 10 into 10. As you know, when we multiply any number by 10, just you have to add 1 zero to it. 10 into 10, that is 10 square, you know it is 100. Now 100 into 10 again add 1 0. So you will get 1000. Now what is 1000? 1000 is cube of 10. So we have 
done with this all 10 natural number which was asked in the question here the sixth one 6 cube that is 260 7 cube we multiplied twice and we got 343 and that is cube of 7 8 cube again we have multiplied thrice 8 into 8 64 64 into 8 that gives 512 and that is the cube of 8 the 9 cube that is we have to multiply find the product of this and when we multiply 3 times 9 we get 729 and that is the cube of 9 same thing with the 10 10 cube means we have multiplied 10 3 times and we got 1000. So that is the cube of 10. So this way we have completed the first question. Now let's move to the second question of this exercise. No more spending your energy and money on coaching classes. Or missing classes for rain, for rally and any other nonsense. Subjects covered by multiple teachers with repeat telecast. Doubts, concepts, applications, no problem. All explained through great and significant animation. So sit back comfortably in your home and watch Study Spectrum TV channel. So now children, as we were solving the exercise, that is 48 which is on page 95 and now we will be doing the question number 2 of this exercise. In this question number 2, what they have asked, find the cube roots of the following numbers. While explaining, when we did solve some, I have shown you the methods by which method you can find the cube root. One is factorization method of finding the prime factors of that number. Now here their first number is given minus 729. Now what I have explained to you like whenever there is minus sign before it that is negative number then the cube root of this is also a negative number. So now, whenever this big number is there you can go ahead to the working column do the working find the prime factors and then you can solve it. So after finding the prime factor, what is the next step? Make a group of 3 and then from each group you can take one one number then find the product of that and that will give you cube root of that number. So let's start with the first number that is minus 7 so I write here minus 729 ok now let's find it. Now here to find the prime factor we have to take the help of test for 3 test that is divisibility test. So now for here as it is an even number sorry odd number so it is not possible to start with 2. So let us start the next number is 3, 3 prime number. So let me see whether this by test for 3 whether it goes or not. So now for divisibility test for 3 what we have to see we have to find the sum of this digits. If the number given the sum of the digit in that number is divisible by 3 then the whole number is divisible by 3. So 7 plus 2 7 plus 2 gives me 9. Okay 9 plus 9 this gives me 18. So 18 is divisible by 3. So this number is also divisible by 3. So I will start with 3 prime number. 3 2's are 6. Right. Now from 7 if I did that 6. 1 is remaining. That will come here. Ok. Now this has become 12. So 3 4's are 12. And 3 3's are 9. Ok. So now we have to further factorize it. Now again I will add all this digit. 4 plus 2 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is also 9 that is 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 that gives me 9. So 9 is also divisible by 3. So I will start with 3. 3 6 are, sorry 3 8 are 24. 3 8 are 24. 
and this two number three ones are three. Okay, so again eighty one eight plus one that is nine. So nine is also divisible by three. So I'll write three. Two is a six, right? So from eight, when I deduct six, two is remaining. So this has become twenty one. So now what I'll take? Three sevens are twenty one. Now it's very easy for you when you got twenty seven. Now what is twenty seven? You know it is cube of three. So again, seven plus two plus seven or seven plus two gives me nine. So this is again divisible by three. So three nines are twenty-seven. Three threes are nine. Three ones are three. Now after doing this, now you got one. So it's over. Now you will make a group of three. So this three and this three. Now while writing the answer. Or factors of this. What I'll do? This is minus three. Minus three into this gives me this number. Minus three into this gives me this number. Minus three into this gives me eighty one. Minus three into nine gives me minus twenty seven. So minus three into minus three gives me nine minus nine. And then this minus one into three. So minus. So what I'll do now? What are the factors of? So you will write answer like this: minus seven twenty nine is equal to what it gives? Minus three into two forty three. Now this three is a prime factor, so I will write as it is. Now further I will divide this. So this how you got? Minus three into eighty one. So here, minus three into eighty one. Or you can just write factors. At the end of that, I can put the sign. So I'll just factorize. So this is now next three into three into now eighty one. How I got three into? So again, I'll factorize three into twenty seven. Then again, three into three into three. So this will come now. Twenty-seven is three into nine. Then again, this twenty-seven. How how I got three into nine and nine three into three. So three into three into three into three, and this nine that is three into three. So now it's easy. As you know, it's a minus. So I'll minus three into minus three into minus three. Then minus three into minus three minus three. Okay. Now even if you not put a sign, I know that the negative number has a negative what root. So these three, I'll make a group of these three. So how many group are there? Two group are there. So what is that? That is. So you can write. Therefore, cube root of minus seven hundred and twenty-nine equals to nine. That is three. Sorry, three into three. So that is minus nine. This group of minus three. Okay. So. Group of three. There are two groups. So three into three gives me nine. So this is minus minus. This you can write as it because this will give answer in minus sign. So now the cube root of minus seven twenty nine is what? When I make group of three, only once I have to. This is the first group of three, so I'll put this here, and then this is the second. So twice I'll take. So minus three into three that gives me minus nine. So minus nine is the cube root of minus seven twenty nine. Now let's start with the second number, the second sum which is given that is eight thousand. So I'll write here eight thousand. Now I'll be starting with as it is even number, so you can start by two. Two four is eight. 
zero zero zero. Then again, it is zero is there in the end, so I can divide it by two. Two is a four. Here it gives me two thousand. Then two ones are again. This is very easy. You know that. And here two fives are ten. So two into five hundred gives me thousand. Here, as it is a positive number, so we don't have to take care of sign. Two into two twos are four. One carry two fives are and here zero. Again, you'll take two ones are two. Two twos are four. One two fives are. Now the number at the end here you got one twenty five. Now you can remember that it is a cube of what? It is a cube of five. So straight away as the number ends, the last digit is five. So naturally, it is divisible by five. So I will take five. Five twos are ten. Two is remaining. Twenty-five it has become. So five fives are twenty-five. So five fives are and then five ones. Are. So here I got what this we have find out the prime factors of eight thousand. Now what is the next step? What do you have to do? You have to make a group of three. So this is the first two. We have taken three two. That is group one. Then again two group, and then this is the third group of five. We have taken in three. Now to write the answer, I can take the help of that prime factors, and I can write. Now eight thousand. The factors are what? First one is two into what? Four thousand. Now two is a prime factor, so it will remain as it is. Then now this is two into what? Two into two thousand. So these are the prime factors. Again, this two will remain as it is. Then this is two into thousand. Then again, two into two into two, and this thousand is two into five hundred. Okay, we have seen that this is two into two into two, and this two into two fifty. So this first group as it is, this two will come, and this we are further factorized two into two fifty. Now again, what you have done? Two into two into two, and then this two into two. And this will come. This further will factorize two into one twenty-five. And here you know it is a cube of five, so you can straight away write two into two into two. This is the first group. Then the second group is again two into two into two. Second group and the last group is five. Five into five into five. So we got three groups. Two group of two and one group of five. So now it's very easy to find the cube root of eight thousand. What it is? Just I have to take ones two into two and into five. So let's do it. So therefore, cube root of eight thousand is equal to what? Two into Two into five, so two twos are four. Four fives are twenty. So the cube root is twenty. So cube root of eight thousand is twenty. So the first sum, I'll explain you again. Here it was a negative number, so the answer, the cube root will be negative. We have to factorize it. As I told you, start with the lowest prime factor. Here it was nine odd number, so we started with three by the use of test of divisibility. Here we have followed this number by adding the digit. We found that that number, the sum of the digit is divisible by three. So by the test for three, we can we come to know that this number is divisible by three. So we have started taking our prime factor with the three number. So three into two forty three gives me what minus three into so 
minus 729. So this again we have to factorize. 243 is the factor. The factors are 3 into 81. Again 81 is factor of 3 into 27. 27 is factor of 3 into 9. And 9 is factor of 3 into 3. Now here you can find all the numbers are in prime. They are prime number. So we can't further factorize it. Next step. You have to make the groups. As it is cube root, we have to make group of 3. In square, what we did was finding the square root, we have made the pairs of number, same number. Here we have to make group of 3 of same equal prime number. So here 3, one group and this another. So one I'll take. This is minus 3 and this is what? 3. So minus 3 into 3 gives me 9. So that is the cube root of seven minus 729. Now here the next number was 8000. So 8000 again will start as it is an even number. So you know easily that we can start with 2. The smallest even prime number. So now here 2 into 4000. Now this 2 will come as it is. Then 4000 is factor of 2 into 2000. Then 2000 is factor of 2 into 1000. Then again 1000 is factor 2 into 500, 500 has a factor 2 and 250, then here 2 into 125 and 125 you know that it is a cube of 5, so I can take 3 times 5. So now the next step, grouping, so make the group of 3, so here 1 group 2, 2, 3. So when I am writing the cube group, I will just put the first group of 2, so once I will write 2 over here, Second group is of 3 is again 2. I will put three over, 2 over here. The last is 5. I will put 5. Now we have to find the product of this. So 2 into 2 gives me 4. 4 into 5, uh, 5 gives me 20. So the cube root. Cube root of this is 20. As this number is positive. So the cube root is also positive. Now let's move to the third sum. Now children will proceed to the third sum of this exercise and the third sum they have asked the cube root of 2744. Now again what is the first step? We will find the factors of it. How we will find the prime factor? As you know I will write 2744. The next step I will see that whether the number ends in even or odd number. So here it is even number. So I can start with the lowest prime number that is 2. So I will take 2 over here. Then 2, 1's are 2. 2, 3's are 6. Right? Now when I will deduct 6 from 7, 1 is remainder. That will move here. Now here what is this number? It is 40. So it comes into stable? Yeah. It do count. So, seven, 2, 7's are 40. Now, the last number is 4. So, 2, 2's are 4. Again, the number which we got ends with even number. So, we can divide it again with 2. So, 2, this I can take together. 2, 6 are 12. Here, 1, when I did it, 12 from 13, 1 is remainder. Where it will go? It will go here. Okay. To the next number. Or the next digit in that number. So here it has become 17. Now does 17 comes in 2 stable? No. So what is the one less number than 17? That is 16. So by 2, 16 can easily go. So 2 is a 16. So again from 17 you have to deduct 16. So what is the remainder? The remainder is 1. That 1 will move here. Now this number has become 12. So 2 in 2, 6 are 12. So now what number we got? 686. Again it is even number. So again I can start with 2. 2, 3 is a 6. 2, 4 is a 8. 2, 3 is a 6. Now, what you have got? You have got the number 
which ends with odd number. So now we can't move further with two stable. So now I'll start with three, whether it can go in by three stable. But before moving to three, do you remember this number 343? We have done earlier. It is a cube of some number. So what number? Can you recollect it? Yes, it is a seven, cube of seven. So I can easily write here. I can divide by seven. So seven, this 34 doesn't come in seven stable. So what is less? 20, 32 also, it doesn't come. 31 also, no, it doesn't come in that table. Even 30 doesn't come, 29 also. Now 20 is the number which, 28 sorry, is the number which comes in 7's table. So when we get 28, when 7 is multiplied by 4. So I'll write here, 7 into 4 gives me 28. So now 34 minus 28. So what I get from 4, 8 will not go. I'll take 1 from here, it has become 14. Now 14 minus 8, it gives me, what it gives me, 14 minus 8, it gives me 6. So remainder is 6. This 6 will move here. So after deducting 28 from 34, the remainder is 6. That 6 moves to the next number and now this number has become 63. So does 63 goes with 7 stable? Yes, it do come in 7 stable. When do we get 63? When we multiply 7 by 9. So the product of 7 into 9 gives me 63. So I'll write 7 minus 63. And here you know 49 again it goes with 7 stable. 7 into 7 gives me 49. 7 into 1. 7 ones are 7. So now we are finished with finding the prime factor. The next step, the next step is what? We will be making group of 3. Why group of 3? Because we are finding the cube root. So that is the reason we have to make group of 3. So how you will write? Now the factors are what? 2 into what? 2 into 1372. So this is the factor 2 will remain prime factor. It will remain as it. This again we are finding the factor 2 into 686. This 2 you will write like this only. That the, this is 2 into 343. So again these 3 will remain as it is. And this we have factorized 7 into 49. And then again, 2 into 2 into 2, we will write as it is. Then this 7 into 7 into 7. So finally, we have found, found that all the factors and have made the group of 3. Now how to write the answer? Here you will write. Therefore, cube root of 2, 7, 4, 4. That is 2744 equals to what? Equals to, we have to see the group. There is the first group of 3 is the, of which number? 2. So that I will write only once over here. Then the second group is what? 7. So I will write the product of that. Now this gives me 14. So 14 is the cube root of this. Okay. So now let us move to the Next sum that is 6859. This is the next number. Now we have to find the cube of this. Now here you can see that 9 is the number. 9 is odd number. So let us try with the 3. We can find the factor of 3. Now what we have to do for that? We have to follow the test for 3. And what is the test for 3? We will find the sum of these digits. So 6 plus 8 gives me 14. 14 plus 5 gives me 19. 
19 plus 9 gives me 28. So 28, does it comes in 3 stable? No. So this is, this will not go back 3 stable. So 9, which other table where 9 comes? It comes in 7 stable, 49, right? So let us try with 7 stable. 7, 9s are 63. Now what is, now in 7 stable we have to see 9s are 63. If we divide, here 5 comes, 55. 7, 7s are 49. Then here 6 comes. But 69 will not go by 7 stable. So even we can't find the factors with 7. So now what other number? If I try with 9, 9, again 9, 7s are 63, 5 will come here. Okay. Now 5, 55, it doesn't come in 9 stable. So 9, 6 are 54 and 1 is remaining. So 19, again this will not go by 9 stable. So we have to find the other number. Now other factors. Now to find this, again I will factorize. So what is the number now? 6, 8, 5, 9. Now we have seen this number neither it goes by 3 nor by 9 and even with 7 it doesn't go. So 19 will try. Now 19 to try with 19 first I will see whether 19 into 19 what does it give me. So 9 into 9 81 8. Okay. Now 9 into 1 9 plus 8, 17. So 1, here I will put 0, 1 into 9, 9, 1 into 1, 1. So I have to add this. What I am getting? 1, 16, 1 carry, 3, 61. Now what is this? This is square of this because only 2 times I have taken. So find the cube, whether to find the cube again this 361 I will multiply by 19 then only I can find the cube because 3 times this is 1, 2 and the third time I am multiplying the product of this two, 2 number into third time. So let us see whether we are getting that number. So 9 ones are 9, 9 6 are 54, 5 carry, 9 3 is 27, 27 plus 5 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Right? So now I'll put 0 over here. 1 into 1, 1. 1, 6 is 6. 1, 3 is 3. Now you have to add. So 9 plus 0, 9. 4 plus 1, 5. 2 plus 6, how much? 8. And 6 plus, sorry, 3 plus 3 gives me 6. So finally, we got the number. So what is this 6,859? This is a cube of 19. 19 is also a prime factor. So that is the reason we can't divide this number by any other number except 19. So here I can easily write 19. Okay. Now, 19, you have seen that. 19 into 19 gives me 361. Now, you can go by the table if you want. Now, first is 68. 19 into 2, how much? 18, 1 carry, 9, uh, 2 ones are 2, 3, 38. I want 68. So, 19 into how much? I will take uh, 5. 45, 4 carry. Now, 5 ones are 5 plus 4, 95. This number is bigger than 68 and this number is smaller. So, let me take 3. So, 9 three is a 27, 2 carry. 9 ones are 9 plus 2, 5, 57. So, this is close by to it. Or we can say 19 into 4. 4 nines are 36. 3 carry. 4 ones are 4 and 3 7. So this is again a bigger number. So I will not take this. I will not consider this. I will consider this. 
so I'll write 19 into 3 gives me 57. So now 57, now this 68 minus 57. So 68 minus 57 gives me what? 11. So that will come here. Okay. Now I have 150. Now the next number that is 19 into 6 we can take. 19 into 6. 9, 6 are 54, 5 carry. Sorry, uh, so 6, 1 are 6 and 5. That gives me 6 plus 5 gives me 11. So I will get 114. So 19 into 6 gives me 114. So I will write 19, 6. So 1 is remaining. That 1 will go to the next number. And that 19 ones are 19. And here we know 19 is what? The square of 19 is 361. So again I will write 19 into 19 and 19 into 1. Okay. So now I will explain you again this. As it is a prime number, so this will go by 19 only we have seen that. So while dividing it, I will follow the table of 19. 19 twos are gives me 38. That is very low number. 19 fives are 95. That is greater than this. So 19 four also we are getting. 19 into 4 give me the product 76 which is more than this. So 19 into 3 gives me 57. 57 minus 68, 11 is the remainder. That 11 I have carried to this number. So that has become 150. Now I will move ahead. 95 sir, we know that 95. So 95 is very less. So let me move to 19 into 6. So 19 into 6 gives me 114. That is very much closer to 150. So when I take 19 into 6, that gives me 114. So this 115 minus 14, remainder is 1. Where that 1 will go? That will move here. So, 19 ones are 19. Here it has become 19. So, now as we know, the square of 19 is 361. So, 19 into 19 gives me this. So, 19 ones are 19. So, we got the group of 3. That is 19. So, it's very easy to find. Therefore, this is the factors are 19 into 361. This is a prime number. So, it will remain as it is. And this will further factorize 19 into 19. Okay. Now we got the group of 3. All are prime factors. So this only once we have to take this group. So therefore cube root of 6859 is what? Only one time 19. Because there is no other group. So we don't have to find the product. So 19 itself is the cube root of this number. So here we have finished with the second question of this exercise. Now let's move to the third question. Oh.